Hey guys, and welcome to Divine Journey 2. Today we're going to be making some creative items. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so last episode, we finally managed to get our Neutron Collector. This thing has been collecting uh, about 11 hours or so, and we have 42 Neutronium ingots. We can actually immediately pick up our first quest of the day for Neutronium. So the quest reward for this gives us four penultimate machine frames. So that's very nice. So we are still short some Neutronium to be able to get seeds. We need a total of eight blocks for this. Hopefully by the end of the episode, we'll be able to get those. But for now, let's look over at this left side, uh, which is more creative items. And I think we'll start here with the creative flux capacitor, which is going to take one of our creative mills, some red matter, and what is this? Eight draconic flux capacitors, which look like this. <laughs> which take the wyvern ones, wyvern energy cores, two draconic energy cores each, a reactor controller. Oh, that's going to be a lot of impetus. That's going to be a lot of impetus. <laughs> uh, lightning infusion table as well. We need eight more of these things. All right, so I've been putting in the recipes for all this. I think this is going to be our last one. I don't think I've missed any. Oh, we're missing the two multi-blocks. I think this is because we've got them in packaged auto. So to help with the missing recipes, we can actually pin these packages. Set the infusion table as the output, and then drag from here as the recipe package for the input. Then we can put this recipe in the manual interface here, and we can do the same thing for the reactor controller. And this way we're fooling applied energistics to think it can craft it by putting it in this chest, so that we don't see any missing recipes when we try to request this flux capacitor. So now we can request this thing. Actually, you know what? We should look at some of the draconic quests. I bet we're missing some of the quests for- yeah, we need to pick up the wyvern one. And the draconic one can give us some quest rewards which will help us. So this craft really isn't going to be too bad for us. I hope we have enough essential for this. This is going to be quite a bit. So these cells will probably take the longest to craft. But it looks like it did put the recipe package in for the infusion table. We can manually craft this and put it back in AE2. And just out of curiosity, to get another 7, let's see what exactly what we're missing here. Okay, so just inverted potential and 25 lightning charges. The lightning charges is going to take even more impetus actually. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot to put in a recipe for these jewels. This, this should automatically send it to the Thumbcraft Crucible. And the inverted potential we have to get from this environmental accumulator. This thing looks awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, nice. We can make up uh, 10, I think, is going to be enough for us. Oh, wait a second. We're not going to have enough evil craft blood for this, are we? Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot that we were out of this. Um, okay, we have to stop the extract from this ender tank. I think this is the only place it's being used. Other than here, of course. Let's also grab the promises of productivity from these blood infusers, actually. This should help with the blood cost. We may have to go and manually collect some more of this. Wow, thank you, Thomcraft. <laughs> oh, this hurts your eyes. All right, I went to collect some manually. This should give us enough inverted potential. Okay, so with the rest of the materials, in fact, you know what? Let's pick this up for the quest. Now we can craft our first flux capacitor. Let's also just request the other seven that we need. I think we've got all the materials by now, yeah. It might take a while with all the impetus, and that's also a lot of awakened cores to make. But once we have those, I mean, we effectively have the creative flux capacitor. Let's start looking at our next creative item, which is the creative flux pack. This one actually may be a little bit easier. I do already have the recipes for these flux packs, which is very, very nested crafting. <laughs> but apart from that, it's just some white matter and another creative mill for us to use. So we need a total of eight resonant flux packs. Yeah, these are cheap. All right, so that's the next creative item. We're just waiting on crafting. After that, we have to make this into the creative jetpack, which is going to require a little bit more work. We need to make our Ring of Arcana. And then the other blocks here are just Lumium, Elementium, and Manulin. But let's see about making this Ring of Arcana. So this ring consists of four other rings from Project E. We have the Zero Ring, the Ignition Ring, the Harvest Ring, and the Rending Gale. Oh, this takes two Angel Rings. Okay, let's start with the hardest one then. <laughs> Okay, so this process is going to start with two rings of dexterous motion. Actually, we need six of these rings. We need another four. Those are then combination crafted into the mundane rings. Then we put them through the infusion matrix for the fancy ring. We will have to remember to set the blacklist on the combination crafter here, so that it doesn't get pulled out without crafting. Then we need four feather fallen books. Two squids. There's one. We also need two chickens, which used to be all over the place. We used to see chickens around here all the time. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this. Astral Sorcery is very festive. That's really cool. I've never seen this before. Haha, there you are. There's one chicken and two chicken. We also need some mirrored glass. And I still haven't picked up the uh, digital essentia terminal. I don't know if we ever will at this point. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of things backed up now, especially on the auto infusion matrix. We're waiting on 23 potentia. Easeful Lattice we also need to craft, the fancy rings we need another 5 of these things, and also Motus, so we're going to be waiting on this for quite a while. 
Oh, and um, thank you, Thorncraft, again. I went back to the emptiness dimension to pick up some Eldritch Stone, and I'm thinking that might have been a mistake. <laughs> yeah, we need all this Eldritch Stone for the Lightning Infusion tables, but these have finished crafting. Anyway, in the meantime, that is also our Flux Packs finished crafting, which allows us to craft our next creative item, the Creative Flux Pack. So once all that impetus is finished crafting, we do have to make our iron bands, which is why we need the extra fancy rings. These take cold iron singularities inside the fusion crafter, which we then upgrade into the four rings that we need. I mean, I guess we have enough materials for one, we can get one chicken ring, or chicken wing ring. <laughs> so since that'll take a little while for us to get the rest of the angel rings, let's look at these upgrade keys. Can you imagine we never had a sentient auto made? Okay, so four draconic cores each. Uh, triple shot. Oh, this goes all the way through the tiers, doesn't it? Yeah, living wood bow, purified tablets. Oh, this is going to be a lot of recipes to encode. Uh, we need four of these upgrade keys. Okay, let's do this. So the triple shot recipe, we're already out of patterns. Supremium bow, superior bow, intermediate bow, prudentium bow, inferior bow, crystal bow, the living wood bow, and the vanilla bow. Alright, so I think I got all the recipes for triple shot. We are just missing these arrows, I think. Which wouldn't surprise me if it goes all the way down. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Okay, we have run into something very unexpected here. All the way at the bottom of this Supreme Arrow, to get the uh, mystical sticks we need plastic, which requires HDPE rods and HDPE pellets. So HDPE is something that we do have automated, although I think we're turning it all into the sheets. I'm not sure if we have any pellets buffered, I really hope we do over here. Oh, you know what, I think we can get the pellets from this PRC, it's just that it's got a full output buffer. We have to use the substrate along with oxygen and ethylene, so I think if we just put a gas tank here, and set gases to output the left. Yeah, nice, it's making our HDPE pellets, which we can grab. I think they're all going to make sheets, to be honest, which is back here somewhere. And yeah, there's a machine, yeah, this enrichment chamber. We only need a little bit anyway. I'm gonna grab like a stack of these things. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I first expected it to be. <laughs> At least we don't have to add any more infrastructure for these. So with all those recipes in, we can get our four arrow damage, which leaves the two angel rings for this rending gale. So since we're still waiting on the auto infusion matrix, let's work on these other three rings. The first one is the zero ring, which after a little bit of bewitchment crafting we can pick up. Next one we need the lava crystals, we can order four of these things. And we also need the ignition glass. Yeah, this one, the coloured lenses. Which we have to craft here on our celestial allure. Oh yeah, even this thing is festive. Oh, that's awesome looking. Hey, and our starlight infusers. Anyways, we put these together into the ignition ring. Next one is the harvest goddess band which requires us actually to do some roots crafting, something we haven't done in a while. So we need a water bucket, diamond hole, block of amethyst, and a nether cactus. Oh, the wild wheat, we're missing wild wheat. And we have to do this four times to give us the harvest spell, which may also be a quest. It is a quest, nice. All right, so there's four harvest spells, which we combine into our third ring, the harvest goddess band. And the last one we need is a rending gale. So let's see about making these angel rings now. I think we have the rest of the materials. Yeah, we can make our flying squid ring. We'll need a second chicken wing ring. And we'll also need to upgrade this. Then we need to upgrade these in the celestial altar with four, three rainbow tablets each. A flugel tia. Oh, wait a second. I forgot about this step. Oh, right. This is. <laughs> this one takes two jet plates of each type. And we only have the dark solarium one encoded. We'll need at least two more of these things. Oh, there must be an issue with the recipe there. And I'll also have to encode this flux infused one. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, I'll be here a while. I think the issue is the, just the NBT data on these. We have to manually put them inside the pattern. We can't just shift click these, which is why I think it showed up as a incomplete recipe. Uh oh, we're out of glowstone dust. Oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> I went to craft some more uh, 82 patterns. Nothing ever goes so smoothly. <laughs> okay, glowstone dust. Why are you missing glowstone dust? We have plenty of essence. It's just that our, our crafter here isn't fast enough. It must have just been ever so slightly slower than our uh, consumption of this. This should fill our buffers again. Okay, I think I got all the recipes prepared for the solarium one. We need two of these total. We just have to encode this flux infused one now. All right, recipes are in. Let's request our two flux infused jet plates. In the meantime though, all of our draconic flux capacitors have finished crafting. Let's make sure we don't put any charge in these. We need to grab another creative mill and some red matter. And we have our next creative item, the flux capacitor. And as part of this tiara craft, we're also going to need some uh, perfected slates, which I think is the highest tier. We only have up to the rainbows. Then we have to upgrade these to the vibrants, and then once more to the perfected, or the perfect slates, which we should have enough capacity here for. In fact, we can use this uh, watch to speed this up. There we go, there's one. Oh, and these upgrades are also going to take four crystal clusters, I guess. 
And to get four of these crystal clusters, it's going to be a lot of runic plating. Yeah, these things, clean runic plates, which we have to clean in evil craft blood. I'm um, hoping that's not going to be an issue with us. <laughs> we may have to go and manually collect some more of that. Let's get this going and see if it gets stuck though. Then once we have all of those items, we have to combine them into the angel ring. However, I noticed that we are out of rainbow tablets, unfortunately. Yeah, they're all gone. <laughs> which means the trip to Mars. Alright, so I collected up some rainbow tablets. I got some extra while I was there as well. We are just trying to gather up the last part of the evil craft blood for these runic plates. And we can easily squeeze down some of these logs to get it actually, rather than farming mobs. Awesome, so with our jet plates crafted up and we have our crystal clusters, we can make our two flugel tiaras. Is that how you pronounce that by the way? <laughs> I'm not actually sure. This could also be a quest, let's make sure we pick this up. And now we can upgrade these. We have to steal our resonating wand here. <laughs> it really should make another one of those things. And we should have everything for two angel rings. And a quest. And now finally we can upgrade these to the Rending Gale, which is our last ring that we need, I believe. Yeah, we have the other three here. And just with some red matter, we can get our Ring of Arcana. Oh, wait a second. Did we have a second zero ring? Did I make two of those things by accident? <laughs> I think we might have actually. But yeah, now we can upgrade our Flux Pack. I forget the rest of the materials for this. Elementium, Manulin, and Lumium. To give us the next creative item, the jetpack, which we're immediately going to be upgrading actually. Oh wait, it doesn't use the ring. Ah. Well, in any case, that's our quest. Panned hard, right? I'm not sure why sometimes the quest ends do that. But yeah, this opens up our next creative item, the capacitor, which we have to use our jetpack for. Eight more flux capacitors, which are actually cheap at this point, and just some more Project E matter. Let's make sure we don't charge these flux capacitors. The quest mentions something about it not crafting if we do that. So yeah, there's the next creative item. These are really coming in thick and fast now. <laughs> the Flux Capacitor. Oh nice, this gives us four Chaos Stabilizer cores. And the next one down here, I think the Creative Energy Cell, we have to make Capacitor Banks and the Creative RF Source. Which means we have to look at these infinite batteries. The quest wants five of these things. Actually, how many Creative Mills do we have left? We still have five, and this is actually going to use the last of them. I think we're going to have to make some more Creative Mills which is going to be more energy condensers, but <laughs> I don't think that we need them today. Let's make our five batteries and see where the quest takes us, actually. Assuming we actually have the resources for these. We are missing some more lightning charges, and that's about it, actually. More impetus required. <laughs> we should have the rest of these things, though, available. As I said, I did go and collect some more dungeon tokens a couple of episodes ago. So while that's crafting up, let's look at the next creative item, the creative... What is this? The power cell? We have to get an ultimate machine frame for this, which... Thankfully, it is the last machine frame. I think this is the 20th machine frame in this <laughs> in this long, long chain of machine frames. But we're at the last one. And this is also a good opportunity to change our Celestial Crystal core recipe. Before, we had to, we used to have to use Celestial Crystal of certain stats. But now we have access to this Neutronium Nugget recipe. It's much, much, well, not much cheaper. We still, it still requires Chaotic cores. But definitely is cheaper and easier to make than the Celestial Crystals. And then I think we just need the recipe for the ultimate. Just a basic crafting recipe. And we'll have to borrow some of our neutronium. Actually, how much are we up to? 52? Let's take a couple of nuggets and a couple of ingots to work with. There is first the recipe for the creative screen. Let's make sure we pick these up first. And can we craft our ultimate machine frame? The ultimate machine frame. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> Let's do it. And some of the impetus should have finished. Yeah. Make this all into lightning charges. And we'll request our five infinite batteries. So the ultimate machine frame finished first. One more quest, the end of a crafting chain. And I believe we have everything for our creative battery cells. We need to grab our last five creative mills here. So there's one infinite battery. There's four. And battery number five. Not great quest rewards from this, just some medium covalence. And eight techie singularities. So yeah, this opens up the power cell. And I'm not sure how many of you guys will remember these molten furnaces from Arcana, it seems like. We have 16 which saves a, another trip there. But anyways, there's our power cell, which we then upgrade to this cubic cluster. Uh, the dark stone we have on passive, we also passive ampli amplification crystals for strength reagents. I think that just leaves these clusters. Oh wait, we have them already. Wait, hold on, what else is this used for? The NASA workbench? Oh, that's right, I remember doing this. Well, let's just request two more of those. Very easy upgrade for the next uh, creative item. So I'm not entirely sure what this is used for. We may have been more useful with a power cell, but 
we have to create these all the way up to the energy cell, the energy battery, the lightning cell, and then the creative capacitor. Yeah, somewhere on this crafting chain, it gives us access to the creative fluid tank. Next up is the creative capacitor bank, which is quite easy and upgrade, only it takes this draconic solar panel. And I was looking at this a few days ago while I was waiting on all of those chests crafting. So I do have the recipes for these. We've yet to make these though. In fact, you know what? I think there's still some solar quests we have to finish off. Way back in chapter, what is it, 11? Where's the solar? Here they are. Yeah, we still need the solar panel 6 and then all the way up to Draconic. It's sort of strange though the way that power works in this pack, in that we didn't actually end up using solars. I think we maybe had 2 or 3 of the solar panel 5s just before we got our rainbow generator. But I mean, other than that, it's been rainbow gen into the reactor. Oh yeah, there's the wyvern. We still need Draconic. And this actually gives us two solar panels per craft, which is quite convenient. I think we need the chaotic later on, as part of the next creative item. But this is a fairly simple upgrade process once we have the panel, into the creative capacitor bank. So yeah, next up is the creative energy cell. This puts together our flux capacitor, and the draconic version. The chaotic solar panel, let's actually just get started crafting that thing. Uh, these are black iron blocks, these are very easy, white matter. Capacitor bank we just crafted, and a Kleinstar Omega which goes all the way down the tiers here until we get to Mobius Fuel and Diamonds. I hope we have enough EMC for this. Let's put down recipes for all these. Hopefully there's no NBT data on these. Unfortunately, we don't have an energy condenser anymore, which means we have to pull out EMC items manually through the tablet. Yeah, we have to grab some of this Mobius Fuel. Oh, I think there is NBT on this. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let me fix the recipes. Oh yeah, this adds up very quickly once you start going through all the tiers. I think we're gonna have to add some acceleration cards to this. It's something like 8,000 uh, Mobius fuel we need for this. It's a lot of EMC, but luckily we did grab quite a lot of EMC before changing over our energy condensers. So there is the Omega. Want to make sure we get the quest for this. That is also the chaotic solar panel finished. So we can elite crafting table this time into the creative energy cell. However, we can't actually go any further than this. I mean, we could probably pick up this energy battery. Yeah, we can definitely get this, but as soon as we hit the creative capacitor, we need these uh, unique ingots, which can only be made, I think, in the fusion reactor. So the fusion reactor is this quest here, and I think we're going to have to do the rest of these essences, which is going to be a lot of fun. So first of all, let's do this essence of peace. And to get this, we have to go on a small adventure, actually. We've got some collecting to do. Oh, but before we do that, actually, let's claim these quest rewards. I noticed that uh, these give us 16 dragon tokens. The next one gives us 16 awakened dragon tokens. And we get 8 TNT singularities for this one. Alright, so to quickly explain this Essence of Peace, we, I think, have to make two of these things for the Essence of Order. This turns into the Essence of Matter. Actually, it looks like we need more for the Creative Chest later on. Ah, so we need four of these things total then. Well, yeah, we need to make the Essence of Matter, which is required for the Fusion Controller. Then it's also made into the Essence of Infinity for Infinity Catalysts. But yeah, since I just learned that we need four of these things, we may as well do the hard work now. <laughs> and we'll get four Essences of Peace. To get this though, we have to go back to RF Tools Dimensions, and we've got more houses to loot. I never get tired of doing this. <laughs> if we get an excuse to do this more, I'm fine with that. You know what, I'm beginning to doubt these things even exist. <laughs> I mean, our backpack here is completely full, and we're basically looking for this special type dimlet controller, which is going to allow us to craft a peaceful one. I hope I'm not missing something obvious, but <laughs> I think we just need a little bit more patience. <gasps> oh, we got one! <laughs> These things are becoming the new frogs from uh, Bewitchment. I've been in RF Tools for an hour and 15 minutes by now. Wow. <laughs> we got one. We're going to need more though, so um, I guess we keep going for now. Wait a second, no way we just got a sec. Two huts in a row and we get two. <laughs> you can make that up, okay. Well, I'm not complaining, let's go for a couple more. Although I'm not gonna spend too much time in here now. We'll come back for the rest if I don't find this relatively soon. Watch us get the, net, the third one here. No, we're not that lucky. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That was surreal. I mean, look at the amount of dimlets we're up to now. <laughs> in all of RF tools. Anyways, the whole reason we're looking for these is to craft this peaceful dimlet, which also requires the peaceful essence you can see there in the tooltip, or peace essence as it's called. And for this, we've got uh, some more exploration to do. 
So we have to gather syringes from multiple different, I think there's actually nine different mobs here. And the first one we have to get here is the snow golem, which should be easy to get. I think we need 12 of these syringes per. All right, first one, snow golem's pretty easy, right? We have 12 of these. Oh, I'm trying to decide which one to go for next. <laughs> these are not easy to get. Okay, iron golems, we can get this one. At least these guys have a little bit more health to work with. All right, and 12 iron golems. That, that was fairly easy. All right, the next one we're going to go for is wolves. And we could go out and hunt the taiga biome over there, but I have a feeling we're not going to have much luck with that. <laughs> So let's just summon these guys. Hopefully he doesn't end up in the portal there, actually. I never thought about that. There he is. Let's soul vial him. Powered spawner. And we'll grab the syringes. Sorry, wolves. <laughs> oh, they are not happy. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's grab an enderman spawner next. Our power throughput isn't enough here. Watch a flow in time is too strong. We probably could have went to the end for these guys, but uh, it's done now. Alright, zombie pigmen are up next. No need to spawn these guys in, they should be all over the place here. Man, this nether is a mess. <laughs> There's one. Let's do the bats next, and this, these guys we will powered spawn. And I think we're going to use this room here, that we use for these catalines. Oh yeah, I did also put <laughs> I did also put um, insta kill on this laser gun, and sometimes it insta kills me, which I didn't actually realize was possible. But we have to be careful with this thing now. There are plenty of bats to work with, and now we just have to actually hit them. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Okay, that's one syringe. Eleven to go. Next up is going to be guardians, which again we will powered spawn these guys. Okay, Guardian, bring it. Bring it on. <laughs> All right, so next one we have to find is Ocelot. And we're back here at the RF Tools dimension. There's not really a jungle that's close to our base, but I think I do remember seeing one relatively close to spawn here. Ah, I think that might be it right there. Yeah, just south of us. Here is our jungle. Please let there be an Ocelot. This looks like a very small jungle. You know what? I think we can actually also just creature summon these Ocelots. Much easier than running around the jungle. Okay, and I believe the last mob we need is a mushroom. And we can use the summon creature on these guys as well. Alright, we got all the syringes. I did make sure to grab a soul vial of each mob, just in case we've miscounted here. But we can turn these into our peace essences. Craft this inside the dimlet workbench. This should give us our peaceful dimlet. And then head back over to Astro Sorcery, where I think we need the Avitas crystal. There's Avitas. Oh, wait a second, we're missing these peaceful environment modules. So we need more peace essence for this, plus some golden sheet metal and some mega torches. Put the recipe in for these, let's see if we can request two. And now we can craft our essence of peace. Nice. Alright, so next quest is to combine that with these perfected vacuums. But to make these, we need anti-air. And for this, we have to specifically be in the Darklands biome, I believe or the Dark Realm biome. And we'll have to remember to take this Necronomicon with us. All right, let's see if I remember how to get to the Dark Realm. I think it's this portal. Brings us to the Abyssal Wastelands. Then we go one deeper into the Dreadlands. Yeah, the Dreadlands. And this one should take us to Omothal, if the portal will actually work. Then if I remember correctly, once we're in Omothal, we have to drop down into the void. And we get teleported to the Dark Realm. I don't remember if we set up a ritual area here though. Wait, no, we must have, because we defeated one of the bosses here. Is that it there, actually? Behind us, maybe? Maybe we just fell down a different location. Ah, there it is. And start the craft. There's the anti-air. Oh, we need two of these things. Oops. <laughs> okay, let me go and grab another one. I'm also going to mark this, just for when we return here. I probably should have checked the quests. Alright, I grabbed the items for the second one. Let's make this a second time. And so now we have to create this in our weak fusion plant to make perfect vacuums. Let's see, this is a fishing catalyst, dragon's breath, another perfect slate, ender air bottles, and a glass bottle. Yeah, we can do all this stuff. And this time we need six for the quest, but it does give us three at a time. So it's really only two crafts of this. All right, so now we can combine both of those into the essence of order. This has to be fey crafted with a V resonator, a token of remedies. Oh, I didn't see this before. How do we make this thing? Oh, this is easy. And just some cold iron and amethyst. All right, let me put in recipes for these. 
Alright, I gathered up all the items. Let's fake craft this up. Again, I think we'll need more than one of these things. But we have more perfect vacuums and we can create more essence of peace. We will have to raid the RF tools dimension for it though. But we got our quest to move on. But before this unlocks uh, the solid liquid gas quest for the fusion reactor item, we do also have to finish crafting the essence of logic, which we, we made this last time. This was our uh, Steve puzzle. However, we have to craft this with the essence of movement. And we have two of these items already. We have the cycles and the motion, which we got last time. We need to craft a couple of essence of ways though. So I made a recipe package for this essence, and it looks like we've got everything except clay. However, this isn't just any clay. This is coloured light adhesive yielding. <laughs> and we make this in the liquid crafter. But before we go crafting this uh, clay, let's figure out how much of this stuff we actually need. Hopefully we can count correctly, although I'm not sure if we need to use or create multiple of these fluid tanks. But by the looks of it, this is what, four? Plus six for each essence of ways. I think we need multiple of those things. The creative ME Essentia storage has 16 in the recipe. We need one more for the en essence of continuity, which is used for the essence of time. And also one for the essence of movement and the essence of repetition. Okay, I, I think I'm counting 26, but let's just go for an even 32. Let's just go for a half stack of these things. So we'll encode a pattern for this. We will also have to manage these fluids, which is nutrient distillation and purifying fluid. Oh, but there is a couple of items here that we don't have actually. Blue cap extract comes from blue cap ink. And this is another cauldron recipe. So if we're doing half a stack of this clay, it means that we need to make two stacks of clay singularities. We have 46 right now. I looked ahead at this uh, earlier on a few hours ago. Let's craft, start crafting up these because the, cl the singularities do take a while. Okay, and while we're waiting on the singularities, let's craft up our cauldron recipes. Oh, by the way, I did sort of repair this from last episode <laughs> after our little incident. And somehow we're still almost at $6,000 power. Anyways, we need half a stack of these iron gold inks. Somehow this is so satisfying to do this, even though it is manual. Then we toss in the ink with some liquid witchcraft and some mushrooms. Wait a second, did that go flying? It did. <laughs> it's over there. Okay, then once more we toss these in the cauldron. And this gives us the four blue ink cap extracts each. And the last part I think we don't have yet is these gelatinous slime drops. I'm not sure if these have to specifically be the slime ball blues. Let's test it out with a green because we only have 56 of blues. Wait a sec, does this not even work with the drying rack? Of course it doesn't. <laughs> well, we are going to have to hunt for some blue slime. And where's time in a bottle when you need it, eh? <laughs> each of these take 5 minutes each, so I think our best bet is just to spam a bunch of drying racks here. Ah, so you know what? 32 of these things is not quite as cheap as I first thought. I mean, this is already over half a million bytes. We're missing quite a lot of dark matter. This has to also craft two stacks of highly radioactive compound. Uh, almost 800 flying ointment for this. And we're apparently also missing florbs of empowered oil. We have to go and investigate that. Okay, the issue here with empowered oil seems to be that we're not getting any canola seeds. Which is strange, actually. We definitely have them in our system here. Oh, it's not the canola seeds, it's the canola plant we need for this. To get the oil, and then it will turn it into empowered here. And then this is our florb fluid transposer here. So yeah, right now we can top it up with EMC which should kickstart this system. Yeah, there we go. We're making more florbs. Let's just actually also make sure we're farming canola again. I must have took that out and we're, we were running on buffers. Let's just replant it in one of the quadrants of, of this farming station. All right, most of our gelatinous slime is also finished, which means we should be able to batch up at least some of this clay. <laughs> this looks pretty funny, actually. So yeah, let's order the first eight. This is uh, gonna take a while to craft. Not like this it ain't. <laughs> I love these watches. We really ought to get some more as well. So I suppose while that's crafting, let's also figure out the fluids for this, which is purifying fluid. We, I think, got this from RF Tools, so we have a couple of drums full of this stuff. But we also need nutrient distillation. I don't know if we make that over here or not. Ah, yeah, here we go. Let's set a little tank out in front of this thing to buffer it. Yeah, that should fill up by the time we need it. And now we're just waiting on all this stuff. Times four. <laughs> Alright, so after quite a long while actually, these only 8 crafts we've got worth here, this actually took a while. So we're going to start with 8 and I'll craft the rest between episodes. And again, I think we'll just repurpose this liquid crafter. So let's switch out the fluids here and we'll grab one of these purifying tanks as well. Hook this up with some conduit and we just have to toss in our input items. Oh wow, this is quick. Yeah, this is a quick craft. And we have it, our first 6 clay, which is part of the quest. Let's make sure we pick this up. 
Uh, now we have to make an essence of ways. I think I've got the recipe already for this. Yep, I think we will have to astral craft though for this, for the celestial gateways. Oh, and I keep forgetting to change the recipe for this pentacle. For some reason if you make it in the infusion crafter it takes two stone ichor. But if you use the molly block it takes witch's stone brew which is just two stone ichor. I don't really know why they done it like this. But hey, we have to change the, <laughs> the recipe over. It's been stuck like this a few times though. Now it's crafting. So yeah, that's our recipe package just arrived. I think this was an elite craft to give us the essence of ways. And now finally we can craft this into the essence of movement. This is one of the coolest items in the game. <laughs> this looks awesome. So we have to put together our essence of cycles and motion, both of which should be in our ME system. And this is going to be on the Thomcraft table. Is it going to let us craft this? Hey, nice. <laughs> the essence of movement. Shuffling along. But yeah, unfortunately, this is as far as we can get today. To be able to craft this any further, we have to use the high voltage plasma fire, which is a multi block we haven't built yet. This is also the machine we need to create the essence of matter for the fusion. So I believe that is this quest here. Oh yeah, that's a big multi block. But yeah, hopefully something we can get next episode. We made a ton of progress today, didn't we? After the last few of uh, stalling here on the creative dank mill. Unfortunately, I don't think we've yet got enough neutronium for seeds. We're at one stack. Yeah, just one stack couple more ingots short but we're not too far away from the neutronium seeds and again we've still got plenty left to do but yeah i think we're gonna wrap things up here so thank you again for watching and i'll see you all soon for some more divine journey 2